Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your NAS drive is not visible on your network on Windows 11. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is start by opening up the... All you have to do is right-click on the Windows Start button and select Settings. Select Network and Internet on the left side. And on the right side, select proxy. Go ahead and left click on that. And then where it says use a proxy server, if it's turned on here, so it'll say use a proxy server on, go ahead and edit that. And you want to go turn it off and then select save. And make sure automatically the text settings is turned on here as well. So once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search and type in control panel. Best match, you'll come back with control panel. So go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by to category view and select network and internet. Select network and sharing center. And then select whatever your internet type is over here on the right side. So go ahead and left click on that. Select properties. And then select internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4. And select properties. Make sure obtain an IP address automatically as well as obtain DNS server address automatically or are both the selected options here. And then once you're done with that, select OK. And then select Close. Close out of here. Now you want to select Change Advanced Sharing Settings. And you want to make sure underneath your private network, so go ahead and expand that. Make sure Network Discovery is turned on and File and Printer Sharing is on here too. So the guests are public. You probably don't need to modify that unless, of course, that's necessary in your case. But for most of you guys, just look underneath Private here. And you want to set network discovery on as well as turning on automatic setup of network connected devices and then also turn on file and printer sharing. Select save changes and then once you're done with that close out of here. One final thing you want to do here is open up the search again. Type in Windows features. Best match to come back with turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the SMB. 1.0 and go expand that and you want to check mark inside all of these options here so again SMB make sure they're all check marked including this SMB direct one and then select OK it will have to download some files here so just be patient And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of any open programs and applications and restart the computer. Okay guys, at this point go ahead and try and connect your drive again and hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.